Hello and welcome to module 5, preparing a quotation template with cost details. We are going to use our previously prepared quotation template and add cost details to it and we'll be able to do two things. One, work out selling prices based on cost by applying certain formula and second, arrive at the profitability of that particular quotation in the event the customer accepts your quotation. Obviously, this particular template can be useful only to those who has cost access. For example, small business owners, sales managers or business managers or even those sales executives who have access to cost and are having profitability targets instead of sales target. First step of this particular module is to learn how to write complex formula. So let's begin. In this particular session, I will show you how to add or subtract a percentage from a given number. We have been doing this, for example, in having tax calculation or discount calculation, but I will show you a different method. And second, the board mass rule to handle complex formulas. So first, how do you add or subtract a percentage from a given number? So let's say we have a subtotal of 100 and we have to add 5% to it. So first we will follow the simple method and see how it goes. First we are going to calculate the 5% tax by multiplying the subtotal with the tax rate and then for the total we will add the subtotal and the tax. Now in the event you have to directly compute this without calculating tax then you will have to write subtotal plus the formula which is there for the tax. So here if you see there is A20 plus C20 and C20 is nothing but A20 multiplied by B20. So our formula as we have been using in the previous examples or previous sessions is subtotal plus subtotal multiplied by the tax rate. So this is how we have been using the formula. There is one more method of writing the same formula which is you take subtotal multiplied by 100% plus the tax rate which means you are calculating 100 plus the tax rate which is 5% 105% of the subtotal which works out to be the total. How is that? Because you are taking subtotal the whole of subtotal which is 100% of the subtotal adding 5% of subtotal to that that's why 100 plus 5 105 percent so if you change this to say 200 then it is going to be 210 similarly for subtracting in this example if we have to calculate discount then we will be calculating discount as this and we are going to directly write the formula which is equal to subtotal minus subtotal into discount rate this is the formula number one and the other method that we will do is subtotal multiplied by 100% less the percentage. This particular method is very useful when the subtotal itself is a formula. So for example instead of A20 there is going to be a formula itself and when that happens it becomes very tedious to write this type of formula where you have to write the whole formula twice. 